Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a duotone effect in Adobe Photoshop. So I've got an image on screen loaded into Photoshop and from the bottom of the layers panel, I'm going to click the adjustments icon and select gradient map. Now this will apply the default black to white gradient map and it's listed as a layer in the layers panel. And I can toggle this off and on by selecting the eye icon. And if we double click on the adjustment icon, it will bring up the properties and we can reverse this gradient by selecting this checkbox here. And we can also click anywhere on the gradient slider to bring up the gradient editor. Now we get lots of presets. Some of these are okay, some of these not so much. We'll start with the default black to white and we've got the gradient slider here and we can drag the black from the left hand side and it will adjust how much black there is in proportion to the white. Similarly we can bring the white in from the right hand side and we can also select this little diamond shape in the middle and adjust the location. So how much black is there in relation to white and so on. So let's reset that, we'll put the black to the left, the white to the right, and that little diamond will put the location of that as 50%. And you can type in a different location, but we'll leave that at 50 just so it's nicely in the middle. So let's start by double clicking on the black swatch, and let's go and pick a colour. So I think we'll go for a nice, a nice deep blue, kind of on the cusp of being purple. And click OK. You can add a new swatch to this, by the way. If you click anywhere along the bottom of the gradient slider, you'll see this little hound symbol doing that. That will add a new swatch. And to remove it, just simply left click and drag it off the bottom of the gradient slider. Right, now let's select this white by double clicking. And we'll go and add another swatch. Let's go for like a kind of vibrant pink. Now with uh, duotone effects, some colors will work nicely together, usually complementary colors other colors will just look awful. So that's part of the fun of finding out. Also remember as well, if you get something that looks like this, it kind of looks like the image, the original image has been inverted. If I go back and just invert this, you'll see it kind of looks a little bit scary, like she's had way too much caffeine in that car. Oh, she's nice there, nice and calm, and then oh, she's too, too much caffeine. We want, to, we want to avoid that. We don't want her to look um, evil and scary like that. So let's just put that back to normal. So if you do get that effect, like you can see on screen now, just reverse the colors and then you should be fine. Or you might be going for that kind of evil, had too much caffeine look, in which case more power to you. Right, okay, so we've got our gradient map effect. We can actually change the blending mode from normal to soft light or to overlay and we get lots of different effects so we can get really creative here with how these colors blend into our image and of course we can adjust the opacity but we'll leave that set as normal at the moment just to retain our duotone effect and from the adjustment icon at the bottom of the layers panel we're going to create a new brightness and contrast layer now we don't want to touch the brightness however if we bring the contrast up you'll see that it makes those colors a lot deeper, richer, and a bit more vibrant. So if I switch that off and back on, you can really see the difference. In fact, we can double click on the adjustment icon and we'll just bring that down a bit, just so it's not too over the top. So if I turn this off and then back on, you can see that it just kind of, it does what it says, it increases the contrast a little bit. And because we've got that gradient map underneath, it increases the contrast of those colors. So we have our original image, and then we can switch back on these adjustment layers in turn. And we have created our duotone effect. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.